What's going on YouTube? I'm back making another video today. This isn't my normal kind of video, you know, where I do dread updates. This is uh, five problems I've encountered since I've had dreads. So, might make more videos like this depending on the kind of feedback I get from this video, but just depending on the feedback, so you guys gotta let me know what you think. Then uh, without further ado, I'm gonna get into it. So, problem number one for me is eating. Now my hair is just now getting to the length where whenever I go to eat and my hair is down, it's always in the way. It's always touching my food. And it's not a huge problem for me because, I mean, it is my hair. Now for somebody else's hair, we got a problem. But still, I don't want to be eating the food that I know my hair is touching. So I always have to get a band before I eat, pull my hair all the way back. Sometimes I just pull the front up. Sometimes I go ahead and pull it all back. And then I forget. And I don't like wearing my hair like that all the time because when I go to work, I have to wear it like that. So that's just one hassle for me right there. Just having to pull my hair back when I go to eat. Problem number two is neatness. Now, yes, they're neat right now because I just got my retwist yesterday. About a week, two weeks after the retwist, the dreads, it's like they have a mind of their own all of a sudden. Cause they go every which way. Whenever I take my little dread cap off that I sleep in, they're all over the place and I hate it. I'm pretty sure the longer they get, the more they're gonna lay down, which you'd think they lay down a lot now, but not for me. I try and keep my hair moisturized, but it still feel kind of dry. When they get to that state, they're just, they're everywhere, really. That's just another problem. Problem number three. Now, this one isn't so big, and it kind of ties into the last one, but it's choosing a style in the morning. So like I said, I always have to pull my hair back whenever I go to work, so this is my go-to style pretty much every day because I'm always working but when I'm not working I don't want to use that style and I can't think of anything else to do my hair is not that long and I can't get it into a ponytail yet so I mean I'm on YouTube I'm all over the internet trying to find some styles for these short to medium dread that's the category I would put them in so that's another hassle the problem number four now, this happens after I wash my dreads and I got sort of a little fro going because my hair grows really fast. Like, if I don't get it done every two weeks, the dreads are sticking. And that's the problem. So after I wash my hair sometimes, after about two weeks, and I don't pull them apart, because I, I forget to pull them apart, you know. I wash my hair, I dry, and I move on. I'm usually going to sleep or whatever. So after about 30 to 45 minutes under the little blow dryer or whatever, I'm ready to go to sleep. I'm not thinking about pulling them apart, which I should do it before I dry it, but... It just never comes to mind. So whenever I go to get my retwist, all the ones in the back are just about completely stuck together. And that is a terrible feeling. I think they call it a pop in the dreads. That is, that is something bad for me. My fifth and final problem is wrapping up before sleep. Now, that's not the biggest problem, but I'm against sleeping without my dread cap. Sometimes I'll come home extremely tired, I'll hop in the bed not thinking about it, then I gotta jump right back up and find my dread cap. And, well, that's the last problem. Uh, I made that one quick because my phone's running out of space and I gotta get ready for work. Uh, if you guys have any of the same problems, comment, have some of your own, share those. But make sure you guys like and subscribe to this video. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.